Hello guys, welcome to Take Me Devoted. In this video, we will discuss about bubble chart. So, bubble chart is one of the sorting algorithm, and we will implement bubble chart in Java. So, let's start. So, first we need to know what is bubble chart. So, bubble chart is uh, uh, we can say it as a sinking chart. In this, in bubble chart, we repeatedly stepping through the array, comparing each pair of adjacent items and swapping them if in wrong order will pass through until no swaps needed it means the our area is sorted as the smaller elements bubble to the top hence the name bubble chart so in bubble chart it uses only comparison uh, hence it is a comparison sort although it's simple but less efficient for large number of elements and we have another uh, other uh, sorting algorithm for that and we can use that so but for uh, less amount of uh, uh, data it is uh, it, as it is simple okay so let's uh, discuss the example how to short uh, in using bubble short so let's uh, we have uh, this unsorted array like and we have the element of 6 to 15 minus 6 and 19 so in one pass we will what we will do we will uh, compare adjacent elements so uh, as you can see here 6 2 is is the adjacent and we are uh, comparing 6 and 2 so we uh, we know that 6 is greater than 2 then we have to swap it and we have to move to in a smaller in the left side we need to bowl it okay so we will swap it then we will compare 6 and 15 so 6 is less than 15 it is okay then 15 minus 6 so we need to swap here because 15 greater than minus 6 and then 15 19 15 19 is okay so this is one pass in second pass we will compare again from starting so we will compare 2 and 6 2 is less than 6 then it's okay then 6 minus 6 we need to swap it then 6 15 is okay similarly in each and every pass we will compare the adjacent element until we uh, will get sorted area okay so finally we will get uh, uh, the elements in a sorted order so this is all about bubble short and now we will start coding uh, co uh, we will discuss the coding part of bubble short how to implement bubble short algorithm in java okay so let's start coding so here is the class bubble short class and here is our main method and now we will we are gonna start coding so <coughs> we need to take uh, user uh, sorry input from user like uh, how many numbers they want to enter and uh, and the numbers um, suppose he, he wants uh, to enter 10 numbers so he need to provide uh, 10 numbers okay as we have discussed this kind of uh, this kind of thing in our earlier tutorial like in uh, searching tutorial binary search and linear search if you haven't watched then go and watch this so i just write these things because this i have used already and uh, you know this this is just we have uh, we are taking uh, uh, input from the user using a scanner class so how many numbers you want to enter we will put this in uh, size variable uh, size is our int type then we will uh, take one array int array mm, Say, let's say I have given name as sort array okay now we have uh, passed this size here and now uh, again we ask user to enter the numbers okay then we will uh, uh, write a for we wrote a for loop here and we store all those numbers in this array okay now we close the input so now the real coding starts from here now let's write a method which provides a logic uh, for bubble short okay as we have seen in example so uh, accordingly we will code so let, let's write public static and uh, it will return array okay you can give another thing also but uh, 
I'm using this. I'm returning array. Okay. Now I'll write the name of method as bubble short, and we will pass int array. The this sorted array we will sort array we will give here. Okay. So let's uh, name is a, anything. Okay. Now let's take length of length uh, of array let's uh, take l as a variable and we will store a dot length here okay now let's initialize uh, take one variable int k we will need it i will let you know where okay now construct a for loop and uh, we will start from length okay then i is greater than equal to zero and i minus uh, we will start from uh, the length of the uh, array to up to zero we will um, suppose the length of the array is 10 then from 10 to zero uh, we will loop okay now this is the outer loop now in inner loop what we will do we have to traverse the array so let's take another uh, variable int j uh, starting from 0 uh, to uh, length minus 1 because index is length minus 1 and obviously increment it okay now here while traversing the array what we will do we will uh, we have taken here k okay now we will use this k is equal to j plus 1 means adjacent where starting from 0 then k will be j plus 1 uh, if it is 0 then uh, j plus 1 is 1 so we will compare 0 and 1 it will be adjacent as we have seen in our example initially so we, we were comparing our adjacent element so here we are doing the same now now we will check if now we will check if uh, array of j is greater than equal to means suppose if it is greater than what we were doing we are swapping actually so we will check here if array of k k means the uh, j plus 1 is greater than array of j okay now what we will do if array of j sorry i have uh, we we can write here uh, less than okay let's j here and k okay now suppose uh, this is zeroth position okay j is zero and k is one if uh, zero this one left side is greater than uh, right side okay then what we will do we will swap it because we need uh, to, uh, we need uh, that smaller value in the left side we need to bubble it a smaller number okay so now what we will do we will swap here either we can uh, write a swap function separately or we, we can write here i am writing here only how to swap we, we know and uh, we have um, seen in a video also how to swap uh, numbers right so we will take one temporary uh, variable and we will i am using temporary variable right i have discussed with and without temporary variable both so array of k will be in temp then what will be the value of array of k uh, at kth index so we will pass the value assign the value of j here and a of j will be temp okay it's so simple so we swap here so what we are doing first we are uh, comparing adjacent element in the array okay if it is greater than equal to uh, uh, right hand side uh, right hand side then what we will do we will swap it then this loop ends then after that again we are starting from uh, l so again uh, for this for loop will uh, be means this will be one pass then uh, l is then it will be decremented as l minus one then it will be second path so on so we will continue and we will finding all those things and in each pass we are uh, uh, comparing the adjacent value 
and uh, until uh, no com uh, until the uh, array will be sorted okay so let's first format it here so yeah it's look cool now now it will return something right because i have uh, here return is int array so after this for loop what we will return we will return the array return this array okay return a done now what we will do here now we need to call this function okay let's take int array let's uh, uh, take the variable um, variable name as sorted array okay because now it will be sorted whatever the return uh, uh, return array of this method will be sorted array so uh, what we will do here we will call this method here from the main method that's why i have taken a static so we don't need to create an object here okay so now what we will pass here we will pass this array sort array sort array means the actually it is unsorted array so was this is name only so <coughs> we'll pass here it will go here and it will do the process it will return the sorted array and we will get the sorted array here now what we need to do just we need to print here so we'll take a for loop or we can take for each also then from 0 to length okay length will be this one sorted array dot length and then i plus plus we will print have a print statement here and we will print the sorted array here so sorted array sorted element we can write anything like uh, our sorted area or we will print directly here so we don't need to plus okay so done so this is our code how to implement bowl short in java so let's run it okay now how many number you want to enter suppose you have uh, given 10 number and now you need to provide that those 10 numbers uh, so we can provide anything let's uh, start from 12 43 2 1 5 50 45 67 89 90 and 3 oh, sorry i have did one thing here it is printing the value of array directly because see uh, <coughs> as this is the object and uh, we are printing system dot order print sorted array directly that's why it's the printing it is printing the object of that we need to print each element so this is my mistake so let's do this so let's run here i have uh, forgot i have forgotten to write the index right only i have printed thus shorted that to a variable name only so uh, let's run again then now write something Twenty-nine. So let's see. Here is the so enter ten elements. We have uh, entered ten elements here. So what is the smallest one? So it is sorted in order. You can see here. This is sorted. One, three, twelve, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, forty-two, fifty-six, and eighty-two. So this is all about uh, bubble short. So and one more thing I need to highlight here what i have written here only sorted array this name we need to as we are uh, traversing we need to uh, traversing the array we need to uh, print the index wise because uh, so we need to print the array of particular index so it will be printed so 
this is all about bubble shirt bubble sort and now we will <coughs> discuss some other shorting algorithm in our upcoming videos so hope it is helpful and if you have any kind of doubt or you want me to explain something else so you can comment me below in this video and uh, subscribe this channel to get updated for this kind of coding and all those stuffs so thanks for watching